Well, I think it's partly that, Tyler. I think it has a lot to do with the schizophrenia <coughs> that market participants seem to have on a day-over-day -day basis. I mean, as you said, I mean, if we close the week perhaps a little bit higher than where markets are trading right now, it's kind of flattish on a week-over-week -week basis, but it feels anything but. I think it's not only the fact that we continue to be in the grips of a bear market that obviously started early last year, but as well, the cross currents haven't abated at all, uh, not the least of which obviously is the Fed's battle against inflation. But now on top of that, additional anxieties have been introduced by way of the bank failures that are, have occurred and with obviously very legitimate worries that we haven't seen the last of them. So uh, the collection of those items, variables, if you will, I think are only augmenting the risk uh, premium that's being embedded into stock prices. And to me, that's feeding into sentiment, which is maybe a little why, a reason why you're feeling uh, unsettled about conditions. Cliches are popular because sometimes they're accurate. Uh, the Fed has a very tough needle to thread here. Uh, how do you think they're going to do it next week? Uh, great call uh, on whatever we're going to see next week is going to be the one that uh, identifies precisely what the outcome is going to be, because I, I think you can arguably make a case that they should pause. On the other hand, I think we've seen a, a blueprint uh, laid down by Christine Lagarde at the ECB, which went ahead with a 50 basis point increase in spite of, obviously, the Credit Suisse's issues and other broader economic concerns in general. Um, so I don't think we're necessarily going to see 50 basis points. That seems a little aggressive to me. But at the same time, I think absence further volatility in the stock market, uh, probably most likely catalyzed by the prospects mm -hmm. of another a sizable bank failure, then I think 25 basis points is a very real possibility. And I think markets are, would be uh, uh, less than welcoming uh, that potential outcome. The press release and the summary of economic projections that accompany uh, the meeting next week will be exceedingly important.